Now that you've got Chatbot set up for your life insurance and retirement planning bot, what we need to do is to personalize the bot for your particular business. So the first thing we need to do is to go to the default reply. This reply is for when somebody types something into Messenger and the bot does not understand. So we give it a standard reply. If you'd like to choose something else other than this particular reply, then you can edit that yourself by clicking on edit, selecting it, going here and making the appropriate changes. The next one we want to look at is the welcome message. Once again, we want to click on edit, click on the message and then edit here. You'll want to change this section here and put your company. Once we've done that, we want to look at the keywords. These are keywords that when people type in, the bot will recognize and you can actually add more keywords in there. Let's go to the main menu now, the contact us button. So you may want to change this, click on edit and change this to something more suitable for your business. You can ask them to include their email, phone, website, address, and so on. Let's go back to automation. This is where the flow actually starts. The welcome message is what they receive when they actually come to the bot from your website or from advertising on Facebook. And we'll talk about that in the, another video. So let's open up the life insurance flow. I'm going to close this. And this is the flow that happens when people select any of these answers and it'll bring them to the next question and so on. We want to change one because this is a generic template. We want to personalize it for your needs. So we need to make one small change on this side here. And if you're looking to get people or prospects to book a call with you through your Google Calendar, then you need to make changes here. Click on Edit. And this is message number 14. We click on the little symbol here. And you make the change and put in your unique calendar. That is Google Calendar. And we're going to talk about Google Calendar in another video in terms of how to set it up for public viewing. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go back to automation and we're going to go to the retirement portion of this bot. Let's click on open this flow. We have two messages that we have to make some changes to, and that's message number eight. And once again, it's to edit the calendar. And you click it right here and make the change right there. The next one we have to make a change is message number 19. You'll want to put your phone number in this area or your email and put it right in here. You can change this message to whatever you'd like. We also need to mention to people that if they want to stop and not receive any more messaging on Messenger, then we include this part here or unsubscribe. And that is it for making the modifications to personalize your bot for your business. In the next video, we're going to talk about Google Calendar and how you can set it up so that people can actually view it publicly and they can add their appointment to your Google Calendar.